everyone. We are on the rock, Bishop. And I think it's that. And that rock is Jesus Christ. Amen. God's the rock only of ages. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, I in television land, I am so pleased with our guest today. Yes. But I can hardly wait, Bishop. Yes. But we've got to do things in an orderly fashion. So everyone, as we do every week, we are going to be on the rock. And first things first, we are going to go to the Word of God. I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood, as you know, and we have Bishop King James Underwood, our pastor, our bishop, and our psalmist. And before he sings, we're going to go to the Word of God, as I first stated, and we have the King James Version, and we're going to go to St. Matthew's, the 16th cha chapter, beginning at verse 13 through 18, and 18 is the operative verse. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah's, a one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which art in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, yes. <laughs> and upon this rock, this, upon rock, this rock, I will build my church. I will build my church. And the gates of hell, and the gates of hell shall, shall, not, shall, not, shall not, shall not, shall not prevail against it. Amen. Thus read the word of God. Yes. And it's already blessed. Hallelujah. Now we're gonna have Bishop King James on the woods give us a song. Amen. Amen. The old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of love, sin and was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross, till my trumpet at last I'll lay down. I will cling, cling to Attraction for me, for the dear, dear Lamb of God left his glory above for to bear it to the cavalry. So I'll cherish the old cross tell my trumpet at last I lay down I will cling yes. cling to the old rugged cross 
Thank you, Jesus. Someone said, why are we going to have black history? Because uh, we've got to make a point of it. But we know that the, the civilization began with the black people. Yeah. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. But a lot of people forgot. Uh, you know, uh, Egypt is in Africa. Yeah. Uh, the continent. Now, yeah. let me preach to you. But I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, we got to uh, have uh, the mother introduce our special guest. Yes. But the mother is special herself. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The grandmother, the Reverend Mother Helen, yes. is special herself. Yes. And the daddy, uh, Brother Artis James, chairman. Uh, of the African American, but we go, we're not going to go down to history yet, but this is Black <laughs> History Month. Yeah, yeah. And make sure you talk about Kenny Stratton, Mr. Kenny Stratton, because she, the granddaughter, the guest, made a presentation at Stratton Elementary, yeah. which is named for Brother Kenny Stratton. Yeah. And I can talk history about him, but make sure we talk a little bit about that. But first... Let me go, because <laughs> it's not about everything I'm talking about. We got to talk about this icon yes. today, uh, who is the granddaughter, praise God, of Reverend, the great-granddaughter mm -hmm. of, of, of Reverend Mother Kelly, praise God. But right now, this is the granddaughter. I'm the granddaughter, Right yes. now, but we're going to deal with the great-granddaughter, <laughs> wow. who is the special, special guest, yeah. the icon. Praise God. But uh, the granddaughter mm -hmm. of Mother Kelly, I'm going to introduce yeah. her so she can introduce her daughter. <laughs> Praise God. And then she's an icon within herself. Yes, yeah, she is. An author. Yeah. A radio host, television. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, oh, let me go. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Say whatever you Renee want. Renee Angela. Yes. You go on and do your thing. Hello, everyone. I'm Renee Angela, and uh, I have, yes, I, I, I am an author. I have three books out. I have two nonfiction books out um, and one fiction book, and I'm currently working on my next fiction novel. And, uh, yes, I have a radio show on WEFT for right now. <laughs> I'm on Thursday mornings. My show is called Soulful. And uh, then I have a UPTV show on Sunday evenings at 9.30 called Health and Soulful Being. And this is my daughter, Alexandria. And uh, she's just an amazing, amazing kid. I've seen her blossom and grow in so many different ways. Uh, I tell everyone that I think she was just born to be a writer. She started writing when she was six years old. Wow. She created her uh, very first book series, which was called The Lost Things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first book in that series was The Lost Tissue. And she wrote like The Lost Shopping List. And this is, and this is how she expressed herself uh, when she was six years old, even before she was uh, verbally communicative. And uh, she is on the autism spectrum. So yes, 
all, I'm saying hi to all my autism kids. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, Alex is on, on the spectrum. And uh, when she was nine, she started a new book series, which was about a seven-year-old little girl who has alopecia. And her name is Natila. She wears a little red bow on her head. And uh, I forgot the Natila doll is in my bag. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the Natila book. She has, how many books do you have in this book, in this series? 15. She currently has 15 books in the wow. series. So if you go, go look down, we have 14 of the 15 books. <laughs> so um, this is my daughter, Alexandria James. Hello, Alex. Hi. So I uh, wanted, I guess I told everybody about you. <laughs> you want to uh, talk about how you came up with the concept of the Natila, which is your book series that you've got published right now? I came up with the concept of Natila from a little girl that I met when I was still in school. And she was talking about how she was wearing high heel shoes, so I decided to give her high heel shoes. So the, Natila is a little girl who wears a red bow and high heel shoes, red high heel shoes. I don't understand how I, did, I still didn't get famous. <laughs> well, yeah. you're on your way. So um, uh, Natila has alopecia. Why did you make her have alopecia, which is a skin disorder where you, where you lose your hair? Um, I don't know. I guess I just want to make her look different and great. Yes. Yes, and very unique mm -hmm. because you don't see very many kids' uh, books that deal with those kind of subjects. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have 15 books in the series, and uh, can you name them? Um, the Teal and the Crocodile, The Teal's Field Trip, The Teal Goes to School, Then The Teal Wills, and The Teal's Halloween. The two is Thanksgiving, the two is Christmas, the two is Valentine, the two and the Goose, the two is Worst Day Ever, the two is Easter, Rose's Mother's Day, the two is with her grandparents, mm. the two is Fourth of July, and Mr. Easton's new student. And that's the latest book that you wrote last year, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Eason's New Student. The Natila series, uh, let's see, you started when you were nine and you wrote, illustrated, and self-published four books. And then you took a hiatus. When you took that hiatus, what did you do? I, uh, I wrote scripts and movies. Mm -hmm. I, went, I wrote TV scripts and movie scripts. And what kind of TV scripts and movie scripts did you write? Oh, mostly comedies. Mostly comedies? Mm -hmm. Did they have kids in them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there was one, there's one that I really like. <laughs> you want to tell everybody about that one? Is it animation? Look? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about Animation World. It's about two kids who get sucked into the TV and meet um, their favorite cartoon characters. Yeah. yeah, it's about two kids that are obsessed with cartoons or, or I don't know, uh, they like cartoons and they get sucked in and they into animation world. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, so that was one of the things that you were working on on your hiatus. And then you returned to your Natila series to start producing the rest of these books, mm -hmm. uh, books five through 15. And mm -hmm. uh, what age did you start those back at? 14. So she's 17 now. So in the course of three years, she wrote 15 books. Wow. Oh, wrote, illustrated, and That's published awesome. 15 books mm -hmm. in the course of three years. So it's real. That's really, really cool. Yes, it and, is. And actually, really, she wrote more than that <laughs> in, the, in the course of the three years because he still have two more books <laughs> that she wow. just wrote, too. So we will... We can talk about that as well. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Oh, uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, uh, the Thanksgiving book, Natalia, uh, Thanksgiving. What made you uh, write a book about Thanksgiving? Because I, I wanted to include um, 
like most of the holidays for these books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you like Thanksgiving and you like Christmas, yeah, so you just want to get that out. Yeah. You express what you saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. since um, but since I still haven't gotten famous, I um I decided to work on a TV series for Natila. Okay. Yeah. That's what she's currently working on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a is a TV series, and you just you just finished episode one of the Natila TV series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And uh, uh, so, what's what what is the series about? Uh, well, TV it's based series? on the book, so yeah, it's just about the daily life of a young girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yes. so, and it's a little bit different since you know it's a series, so. You know, it's going to have her experiencing hard things like breaking things and accidents and, um, and conditions with people, like fading or something. Well, well, I don't know about that, but yeah, you know, it's a TV series, so yeah, it has characters doing, experiencing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wow. She's very creative. Yes, yeah, she creative. is. Thanks. Just keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And just like, and, and don't worry about being famous, they're going to discover you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> you are famous. Amen. I mean, how many people? Your book is in France. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not famous. I don't think it's common. Um, I think it's more common with people that um, with like bad people, people that um, others do not like. They decide to focus on the talented people than talented people. No, oh, they do both. You are talented. Yeah, but there's a lot of people out there who are talented, but they don't get discovered because people are too busy focusing on other people, other people, on, on talented people, that kind of stuff. But you're, I said your book is in France. How did your book get in France to to the French people? How did your book get get? You just thought they were great. I mean, how did your book get? Who took your book to France? You. That's right. So, and and did you get to meet those people uh, from Tillonville, France, two years later? Remember? Did you do you at remember? the at the library? I don't remember. Yes, at the library. At we, the library. It was uh, very very brief. So brief. yeah, uh -huh. because they had to they had to leave. But but you got an opportunity to uh, meet some of the people that I took your book to France and I it, uh, gave it to. The mayor of Tianville, France. Maybe I do remember that. The a library we, meeting or something. Yes. Yeah. And it was so bad outside. And remember, you it and your mom came and all those people, mm -hmm. and they were shaking your hand. And they remembered that mm -hmm. you they had gotten that book, and and you're the young lady that had written like 15 books or so. Yeah. You remember, you met those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was really really exciting to. Uh, yeah. Have have the book be international. That's right. So you are famous. <laughs> you might not have all the money yet, but you are famous. Yes, I'm uh, not known to a lot of people though. Well, yeah. Well, and that brings us to that we we do the farmers market. So the last couple couple years we've been um, doing the farmers market. So and how many people have you met at the farmers market? Oh. Gosh, hundreds so and hundreds many, of people. Yeah. yeah. But they don't buy my books, so they, um, yeah, they do. They they some buy of the them books, do, and but um, but I'm still not known to like thousands of people. But don't get discouraged. Around the country, I'm not discouraged. Okay. So I mean, I'm just I'm just. What do you mean I'm discouraged? I'm just writing my scripts. Yes, and you're gonna. And we're gonna move on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay so uh, let's see. Why? Uh, so we can talk. We, so we'll have time to talk about the autistic kidpreneur and Tanya and this hill, and um, your your presentation that you gave it's just recently. Uh, it's so, right because we don't have a whole hour like we yeah, do on the radio. Yeah, on the radio yeah. we usually have a little bit more time <laughs> <laughs> on television. <It's laughs> so your presentation. Tell us about your presentation at Stratton Elementary. Ooh. Yes. I gave my pre presentation to a group of third graders, and um, um, they were asking questions like and and saying compliments like I think you, I think you draw better than like I think you draw good even though I said I need a professional artist, and um, 
so yeah, I was just I was just talking about um, how I got started writing and how I was doing interviews. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, wonderful. so uh, it was a it was a really really great experience uh, going to, to Stratton Elementary because I don't think that I have even stepped foot in Stratton. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so not even when I was teaching, I don't think I ever I, I ever got uh, went to Stratton. So it was a, a really really great experience, and I must say hi to all the the third grade class of Mr. Rutherford. So. <laughs> I'm give you guys a shout out yes, and uh, yes. so she did a, a, a presentation we had a PowerPoint presentation yes. as well so she had a speech written that she wrote herself as wow. well as um, a, a PowerPoint presentation and it just basically chronicled um, you know her experience as a writer as an author as well as promotions and sales and 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 becoming a kidpreneur, so um, so that's what we were talk, talking talking oh, about. Yes, uh, yes, that book, yes, it's excellent. Oh, that kidpreneur! I mean, it's an excellent book. I tell you, I mean, I can use that if I ever want to start in business. I, it's just wonderful. Yes, oh. this is the autistic oh. kidpreneur book. Uh, it's an interactive guide to starting your own business. Oh. And it's not just for people who have who are on the autism spectrum or who have a disability. No. It's for kids. It's for anyone who just really wants a simple guide to starting their businesses. And it has exercises in it. Um, one of the exercises we actually shared with the class, which was the first exercise, and it was just about what inspires you. So you write down five mm -hmm. things that inspire you, and uh, so. She has many different chapters in here on motivation, asking for yes. help, um, brainstorming ideals for your business, um, creating your logo, building a website, all these things that, that she's done herself. Um, we, she's put in this book, yeah. or we, we put in this book, because I'm an editor. <laughs> I'm the editor. So, and it's really been a, a great, great experience. Also through the Autistic Kidpreneur, we are trying to do kind of like a grassroots foundation. And so um, at her very first book signing for this particular book, we did actually award a certificate to a, a young lady who's on the autism spectrum who wants to own her own bakery and uh, so we gave her a gift card from Michaels as well as gave her a certificate and a copy of the autistic kidpreneur book mm -hmm. and so these are the things that the foundation side of the autistic kidpreneur we we want to be able to do encourage people support people um, to the best that we can and just um, uh, allow for people to be able to blossom who, who have a desire to yes. start their own business or just especially those with disabilities because they don't always get encouraged yes. to uh, be creative, to um, start their own businesses. It's, 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 they, they're kind of like leading a life of mediocrity. Yes. And so we want to be able to support and encourage that yes. through the Autistic oh. Kidpreneur. Yes, it's great. It's great. So. Oh. Mm. I don't know if you want to look at it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. I mean, it's, 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 it's great. It's great. And now this is the newest book. A chapter book. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm, Her very, very yes, first I'm, chapter yes. book that oh. she's ever done. And so it's really, it's really great that she mm -hmm. got a chapter book, Tanya and Dishill. And yeah. uh, you want to talk a little bit about Tanya and Dishill? Or, or you want me to? Um, how about you? Okay, Tanya and Dishill is about a fourth grade little girl named Tanya and her friend Sage. And they, they f what, fall off a mountain or something and enter into a place called Dishill and it's got it's 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 got all of these kind of Halloween type things, so ghosts and ghouls and vampires and <laughs> and and toys and all you know. So it's all about that, and so they have to find their way back to home from this this creepy land called this hill. <laughs> and you you told me that uh, 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 usually 
uh, this a, a chapter book is for an age group what now? Uh, about six to ten. Six to ten, I think mm -hmm. you told yeah. me. Yeah. Because I'm going to get for some grandchildren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My grandchildren. Oh, this is. And you, uh, did you, uh, did she uh, illustrate this? She did all the ah, designing, yeah. yes. Wow, that's beautiful. So, ah. yeah, she, she did the designs, uh, the cover design, and then, of course, mm -hmm. the writing and the publishing. I, I hardly do anything other than edit, so that's pretty much what my role is mm -hmm. in, in everything. And, and we've just kind of, you know, really formulated this um, authorship to just all kinds of things. So, like I said, we, we go out to the farmer's market. She has Natila dolls to go with the yeah, book series. Right. We've got bookmarks to go with the book series. Um, and then, of course, with the autistic kidpreneur, the foundation side of it. And um, we just continue to, to grow and keep going with all of yeah. Everything. Do you have any questions, Bishop? Yes, I, I, I just have some comments. I noticed that uh, her illustrations is uh, very clear, and uh, it uh, brings out the points that she's trying to bring out clearly. And when she and when she, it, it's like Halloween, and she got the little eyes, the little stars, and she got a combination of things to let you see that it's a combination of things happening in in the, that series. Yes. Yes. And, and that's how she kind of illustrates. She, you know, you really know what you're getting when you look at the book cover yes. of, of her books. So, so that's that, amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. great within itself, knowing how to put on the book cover so you can have an idea of what's on the inside. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Anything else you want to share with us? Um, so, so why did you think that I'm getting discouraged? Well, well, I think we all get there, but we were, but we meant about the books. You want to share anything else about the books? No. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay, I just um, um, I wanted to um, kind of make sure people see all of those wonderful and different kinds of books. Those ideas that just show people how creative <coughs> this young lady is. Mm -hmm. And that's why my friends from France, uh, uh, was, they were so excited uh, to meet her. Uh, this little, I think she was about 16 then, last year, about yeah. 16 year old young lady who'd written all of these books. They were so excited, you know, from a different country, but they were so excited yes. uh, to meet her. You know, they, I just I told them about that, you know, took that one book, you know, over there. But I don't have that many books, and then they were, got an opportunity to meet her briefly. But it was, it was just so excited about, uh, and I'm sure a lot of the people that had an opportunity to meet her at, uh, at the farmer's market. Yes. You know, and, and the people who uh, have heard her talk, you know, on, on our radio program, right. the people who've seen her you know, on the television program when she was here before. Yes. They, she's been encouraging to so many people, so many different people. Absolutely. And she continue on. Uh, I would show on her back if she has the time. I know she's very busy. You know, to keep encouraging because we have different people listening and watching yes. uh, on the rock. And she's an encouragement to young people. You know, give them encouragement to uh, try the try their talents, Bishop. Yes. Uh, uh, they might not be able to do 17, 18, but at least try one book. <laughs> yes, or, or whatever it is yeah, that they, they want to do. do. Yeah. And if you want to check out any of our books uh, or any of her books, it's not our, my, our books, it's her books, uh, you can always go to her website at alexsjames.com. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. alexsjames.com. And uh, God gives all of us gifts. We're going to have to go off the air uh, but God gives all of us gifts. And when you're born again and get baptized, uh, you can be, get on the Lord's side. So we say to you, Jesus is the reason. And she is a little Christian, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You've been baptized and love the Lord. Amen. And God can give you gifts. 
and uh, he loves each and every one of us. And you can come to him, and you can come to Jesus. Did you want to sing this song as you, we go out? And we want to have y'all back again. All right. Thank y'all for coming. You. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your ta talents with oh. the people. How great thou art. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord, my God. Mm -hmm. We go out. See you next when week. When I at all some wonder, mm -hmm. consider all the world thy hand had made. I see the stars. Yes. I hear the roll and thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, yes. my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings Savior God to thee, yes, how 